It was terrifying when a driver in the US who was a big fan of Tesla was reported to be dead by a fatal crash made by the car's autopilot mode. Self-driving vehicles determine the environments near them and sense any potential dangers to figure out the safest way to accomplish their duty, safely taking the passengers to their destination. It may seem like self-driving vehicles are qualified enough to be on the road, interacting with other human drivers is still a big homework. It is questionable whether this technology can fully replace human beings as there are still lots of problems to be solved. This report is going to compare several automated driving systems for the sake of future consumers of these vehicles. In this report, Tesla's autopilot system and GM Cadillac's Super Cruise system will be mainly examined. Each autonomous driving technology will be analyzed concerning performance, ease of use, and driver engagement. The performance of automated speed control and steering can be determined by testing the driving system in various road environments including straightaways, curves, lane merges, and intersections. Interacting with other cars on the road is very important because it should not interfere with other human drivers' cognitions and decisions. How well the driver perceives information about the vehicle can be determined by the type and the amount of information displayed and how clear it is for the drivers to see. The driver should not be distracted when activating or deactivating the system and relevant information should be easily found in all circumstances. Moreover, the driver should be aware of how the car is controlling itself and also the exact method to adjust or terminate it any time. Although many believe a system with less driver engagement is better, we have to consider that we have not reached the level to discuss in that criteria. Less control might mean more comfort to the driver, but it also means more risk to potential accidents. In terms of capability and performance, Tesla's autopilot has proved how it is number one in the market of cars including autonomous features. Eight cameras are surrounding the vehicle to cover 360 degrees around the car and up to 250 meters of range. Tesla's Model 3 outperformed its competitors in a lane keeping test performed in 2018. It caused the fewest accidents among its competitors in environments of crossing over and touching a lane line or disengaging. Upon 36 tests on hills and curves, Tesla drove outside the lane only once, whereas its competitors intruded over 10 times. Autopilot also has an automatic lane change system that Cadillac doesn't have, where the driver just put the blinker on to make the car change lane by itself. The $5,000 hands-free driving assistant technology of Cadillac is only designed to be used in a highway environment. It only works on compatible highways that have its database in Cadillac's internal server. This means that the car needs to have a stable internet connection constantly when using this feature. This limitation seems to be a clear drawback compared to Tesla's autopilot. It may relieve a lot of stress for those drivers who often commute by highways, but may be taken as a useless technology for the majority of drivers who mostly use narrow city streets with more traffic. Tesla has fairly easy interfaces for the drivers to use the autopilot feature. The huge 15-inch touchscreen display in the middle of the car has a sufficient amount of information about the car's status. Drivers can tell autopilot is ready to be engaged when a blue steering wheel icon is illuminated on the main screen. To activate, drivers should tap the right lever on the steering wheel twice, and it's turned on. It's all about simplicity and convenience that Tesla's models are seeking, and the users will be satisfied with their intuitive user interfaces. The Super Cruise system in a Cadillac's newest model provides clear communication of the system and adequately notifies the drivers when to activate or deactivate the feature. When the driver presses the Super Cruise button, the light bar on the steering wheel will illuminate in green and the driver is ready to remove his or her hands. However, you have to enter Adaptive Cruise Control Mode before using Super Cruise Mode. The double step Cadillac requires can make the user somewhat confusing and they might regard the feature as something hard to use. If the Super Cruise Mode goes into pause mode, such as when changing lanes, the light bar will turn blue and will turn back green after the car settles in mid lane. 
The fact that the huge light bar is very closely inside the driver's sight is very user-friendly and intuitive. Even when the driver has his or her hands off the wheel, the light effect easily catches the driver's attention when needed. Tesla showed relatively low performance on its requirement of driver's engagement. The autopilot system alerted the driver after 24 seconds of the last driver's action. Some drivers might think this proves the high technology of autopilot, but that is not the case. It simply means that the system does not give enough time for the drivers to react in an urgent situation. In fact, driver's loss of concentration was a main factor for many accidents involving autopilot. Super Cruise requires drivers to constantly watch the road ahead and make adequate inputs when needed. It has a camera and a sensor near the steering wheel to determine the direction of the driver's eyes. If the system finds that the driver is not paying attention, a red warning light on the steering wheel alerts and the seat vibrates to warn the driver. This ensures a great safety when using this driving assistant mode since the drivers cannot keep their eyes off the road for more than 4 seconds. None of the other manufacturers used eye tracking technology and it is highly appraised in driver engagement that Cadillac is seeking. Overall, Tesla's autopilot showed excellence in the first two criteria, performance and ease of use, and Cadillac Super Cruise in the last criterion, driver engagement. That concludes a win to autopilot as a better self-driving technology than Super Cruise. Although Super Cruise showed better results in our third criterion, what consumers are seeking is a technology with higher performance in various circumstances while it is easier to use. Super Cruise may be a bit safer since it requires more concentration when using this feature, but Autopilot will be more intriguing to the users with better performance on smoothly controlling the car. Simple activation and deactivation of the function would increase the frequency of its uses and will give a lot of satisfaction to the driver. Frankly speaking, both Autopilot and Super Cruise are not actually a self-driving mode. Autopilot emphasizes in Tesla.com that current Autopilot features require active driver supervision and do not make the vehicle autonomous. Actual autonomous or driverless technology is yet to come, but it is certainly in a close future. We still need to put a lot of effort on testing these technologies before they can fully replace human drivers on the road, and as an engineer myself, I hope I can contribute in bringing us a better life.